So um, I oh I've gone back, sorry. Okay. Um, I'm Cleana Doris and I'm in the Conservative Music and Drama and I'm going to talk about um, assessments submitted by video. Um, and the method was used um, uh, in quite a few areas in, in biology by the Anne, um, in civil engineering for mathematical solutions by Louise, marketing by Leslie, and then there are three in music, uh, two by myself and one um, by my colleague, um, Paula Hughes. Um, so just within that, there were a diversity um, of approaches um, from group um, and to individual, and music was the individual, um, not surprisingly. Um, so, and also from um, uh, sort of the length of videos from three minute pitches to ten minute presentations and then even to longer videos for the mathematical solutions, so quite a range uh, of lengths. And also for a variety of purposes, um, so for presentation styles, uh, for problem solving and solution uh, driven videos uh, to career focused videos, so uh, quite a diversity and, and range. Um, the issues that at the beginning of sort of the LEAF project that we thought that might be addressed by this method were the graduate attributes, uh, group assessments, large group sizes, using technology obviously, um, and assessment to ensure that learning is taking place. But, um, this is a much richer um, use, um, there, there are more issues that are addressed um, and I've listed them here. So obviously it addresses graduate attributes, um, reflective practitioners, digitally literate, exit communicators, innovators, it goes on in teamwork, all, all of those. Um, it improves the quality of communication and I might qualify that in one um, spot later on. Presentation and or uh, in my case performance skills. Um, embraces technology and obviously digital literate, but within the assessment. Um, reinforces learning and understanding and indeed does ensure that learning is taking place because you can't make a video without knowing what you're doing, or in theory that's the case. Um, encourages self-reflection and more thorough preparation. There's nothing like seeing yourself on video, as we still will, <laughs> uh, to make sure that you are prepared. And it is a very student-focused uh, type of assessment. Um, and can accommodate group assessment and large group sizes. So this is a visual of um, a number of uh, video um, that we used in, in this pilot. Um, the first is um, a very entrepreneurial composer um, who's in his studio. His business was a business pitch and he was talking about um, uh, a music production uh, company that he is setting up. Um, so he was in the studio, he had his score, his uh, audio score behind, um, which also was another selling point, um, and then a number of stills. And it was just a very, as you'd expect, a very well produced video, uh, three minutes one. Uh, the next one is one of the mathematical solutions, um, and these were long videos, um, and quite detailed, um, a lot of embedded learning within that. And this is just a student who did face, I uh, took it back, uh, just a, a bit of variety to this slide, um, so with a whiteboard going through the solution. Um, and that was recorded. The second, um, because I mean, wanted to have some, a musical instrument there, um, this is also a, um, a video pitch, and this was to set up a music school. So this um, is one of our jazz guitarists, and so he played, that was the soundtrack, and then there were a number of stills and his text um, coming through, a very effective video. Um, the, the message and narrative was extremely strong, but also with the, uh, the visual and the audio. Um, the next one is um, just a PowerPoint, and talking to it through so essentially what I'm doing being videoed. Um, the next one is screencast. Um, I did actually take the students through screencast um, and it's just you capture the video as you're sitting at your computer and obviously your slides uh, following, uh, following with the video. Um, you can swap it around so that the visual is of yourself is obviously larger. And the next one is another mathematics solution, but this is pen and paper being videoed. So, uh, you know, from high tech to low tech, uh, right, right throughout the range. And um, so I think that's, you know, it, it is very diverse. So then um, I uh, speak mostly about music because that's what I was involved in, but I did consult with colleagues just on their feedback. And um, so in biology, um, this was, um, yeah, the student perspective, it encouraged group work. Um, across programs, enhanced digital literacy, uh, you'll see that. It was student focused and she explained that uh, her other assessments were um, lecture driven, so this was a way to bring um, the student in the, to the type of assessment and also allowed for flipping content, so content that was coming later in the semester. Um, then from a lecture perspective, it was quick to mark, 
um, three minute videos for large groups and there's an, another opposing comment coming up shortly but it shows you just the way you set it up and um, it has to be thought through. Um, one set up easy to continue in subsequent years and that the uh, content and videos could be used as, as teaching and learning tools uh, in subsequent years. Um, then civil engineering, which is her Louise, um, in another video content, uh, context. So she was the mathematical solutions and she, uh, she felt it really did enforce student learning as students had to understand each step to create the video. And they really did, uh, um, and I was watching some of the videos that didn't understand the content, but it was very detailed um, uh, <laughs> uh, detailed work going, uh, going through. So you would imagine there would be a lot of preparation before they actually were able to produce the video. Um, then in marketing, um, this uh, student perspective, um, this is Leslie, um, enhanced digital literacy skills, as you would say. But this was interesting, and I find this as well. Um, there was a sort of uh, anxiety um, when I sort of came into the room and said, right, we're going to do a video assessment at the beginning of the semester. Um, and the idea of that using that technology wasn't uh, as I thought it would be um, sort of addressed quite easily by the students, but there was a bit of nervousness about that. Um, so I did introduce a little bit of you know, how to make a video and, and show the sort of range, but didn't want to restrict them. So it was interesting to see that came up in marketing as well. Um, from a lecture, again, this is a longer video, they're 10 minutes. So obviously 10 minutes, 25 groups, 250 minutes. Watching time, never mind the assessment. But um, we balance it if, you know, if that's a deep learning um, and a large assessment, that, that's a, that can be appropriate. Um, and then let's just raise a few questions, and I'm just going to leave them as rhetorical questions. Um, what is the best practice in the area? Um, is, is there a TW um, rubric for this method? And how is creativity assessed? Which moves nicely into music, um, because we assess creativity all the time. <laughs> That's what we do. Um, so I um, had two, um, I did use this in two different modules. One in a postgraduate career focused one, and then in a pedagogy teaching um, practice, uh, teaching observation module. And have very different um, different findings really uh, on them. It worked extremely well on the, the three minute business pitch, um, and there was a huge variety of students. Some just talking, you know, talking through their ideas. And um, they, they, I also used it in, in with peer grade, um, so students had to self um, reflect, and there was also peer um, assessment going on. Uh, not with a marker, I think, but just to give them um, some feedback, so more peer feedback. Um, and we did it as a movie, sort of a movie class. Um, and um, there was way more, obviously in this type of sense, there is more scope um, for innovation and creativity, and some really, really stretched the bar on that. Um, then I used it in this teaching observation class. Um, it's a final presentation that they do. Um, and um, while I would say that the there was definitely more preparation and more reflection in preparing the video. I felt it lost, um, and I see my colleague at the um, Mary Lennon, who um, sort of co-marked this, uh, these presentations with me. We both felt that, given that it was a teaching context, that they we lost the person-to-person -person, um, communication skills. Um, and so, if I'm well, I wouldn't want to throw out the video because I learned they learned a lot from that. I would rethink it, and um, because that's an extremely important thing, particularly for people who are going to teach, um, uh, usually on a one-to-one -one or small group uh, environment. So, uh, just needs a little bit of a rethink. Um, and they were kind of more standard PowerPoint presentations. Um, then again, another colleague, um, Paula Hughes, and the keyboard our piano department um, have been running this. Um, last year and this year, and I'm going to bring the results into um, LEAF, um, Paul Hughes. And this actually came from, it's, we, um, all of our musicians have a, an instrument or voice is their major uh, love and the reason they're here. But we also um, asked them to do second study piano, so they're using piano as a tool. Some of them will be quite advanced pianists and some will not be. And there was a feeling that possibly there was a lack of engagement with that um, particular unit. Um, and so the uh, team uh, thought that possibly using video would enhance uh, that, and indeed it did. So the students can submit uh, their performance exam in this unit um, uh, as a video, it's optional. And they, um, not only did the marks improve, because obviously they rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed, that you know, um, they felt that the engagement uh, in, in the class and in, in 
the learning improved because they could see the video, they could see where their faults were, they went back into lessons to try and sort those out. And so it really, really enriched the whole learning process, never mind the outcome, which is... Um, so they're thinking very positive about that, and there's another running... Uh, it's, it's actually happening very soon, so we, we put in the results um, for that as well. Um, so that's more a performance-based one, as you'd expect from us. Um, just to say, the future... Um, in Brightspace. Um, there is a video um, capability there. Um, obviously you can very easily um, submit an assessment by just being at your computer and just recording yourself. Um, but there also is, you can upload assessments um, in all types. And indeed I've been using Brightspace um, uh, for myself and throwing up videos uh, for a research seminar and um, we could put up videos to one gigabyte. So the variety of approaches which I think was really very strong in this um, method and um, can still be um, facilitated. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.